So today I want to talk a little bit about how to cut fabric. We'll talk a little bit about a rotary cutter or a lot about a rotary cutter. And first let's go through the supplies that you need. This is a self-healing um, cutting mat. It is 24 inches by 36 inches. Um, it takes up pretty much my whole table, which I really like. Um, it can be hard to cut fabric on something smaller because fabric, a whole a yard of fabric is 36 inches and the width is usually 44 inches. So that's a big, that's a big chunk of fabric to be working on a little small um, cutting mat. Um, so I really like a big cutting mat. The second thing that you need that I love and I mean, the second thing that you need is a ruler. Um, this is my favorite ruler. You can't get this exact one anymore. I've been using this one for many years. Um, it's the Donna Dewberry Fis for Fiskars ruler. Um, you can see mine ha definitely has some wear and tear and is not super happy anymore, but I'm going to use it until it falls apart. Um, I mean, this one is probably six, seven, not sure how many years old, very many years old. So if you go ahead and spend the money for a good one, you're gonna have it. Um, as long as you take care of it, it'll be around for many years and it's well worth um, the price, As same as with this, um, with the cutting mat. So I like this one because it has this little half inch um, marker on it. So it's six inches and then you can get a half inch as well. So I'll use it for straight inches here and then if I need a half inch, measurement, I'll turn it over and use the half inch side, which I really works out really, really well for me. Um, and then it is also um, 24 and a half inches. So it's about, it's the exact same height as my cutting mat, um, which works out perfectly for me. So let's just talk a little bit. Um, now I'm going to just show you a little bit how to cut your fabric. So the first step, um, so the first step is that you want to make sure that your fabric is all prepped um, and washed and pressed and then you can get going on um, cutting. Unless you're using a pre-cut then you don't want to pre-wash. But you know, some people pre-wash those too but and some people don't pre-wash at all. So anyways, so what I do is I'll open up the fabric. I already cut a little circle out of this one. I'll open up the fabric so that I have, this is my yardage, this going this way, and this is the width of my fabric going this way. So depending on the size of the cut that I need, I'm going to keep it folded. So I'm gonna just leave the width of the fabric folded in half right now, and then I'm gonna fold it one more time in half again, like so. And the main thing to know when doing this is just make sure you don't have any wrinkles or anything. Like I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and flat here. Um, you can press it into this position just to make sure that it's staying straight. And then I'm just, you just try to line everything up as best you can and just make sure you don't have any wrinkles. So like inside. So I'm just feeling to make sure there's no wrinkles here in the middle and that this is nice and flat here. So then when I have everything nice and straight like that, you can see once I've lined everything up here, this has kind of gone wonky on me. So I'm gonna, we're gonna give that a straight, a straight edge. So to use my, to, to cut my fabric, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a straight edge. It can either be the top or the bottom, since we know this isn't straight. And I'm gonna pick my straight edge. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the bottom well, I'll use the top because it's easier for you to see. And I'm going to line this up all the way along that line on the top. It's okay that this doesn't, this end doesn't fall on anything. As long as you have, you know, what is this, like 10, 15 inches lined up straight, the rest would, would fall in place. We're not going to worry so much about the bottom, but it looks like the bottom is also lined up. So I have my straight, this is lined up very straight. This is what we're gonna cut straight. So I'm gonna take my clear ruler, I'm gonna set it down, and the closest inch that I have is 17. And I've, when I've moved it to 17, I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm getting all of it. So if I moved it to 17 and it looked something like that, then it, that wouldn't be a good um, way to do it. We just wanna make sure that we're getting the whole thing and our, we'll have a nice straight edge and we're cutting through all the layers of the fabric. Now, what I've done is I'm using my ruler to line it up along the 17 inch, li inch line here. 
And I'm also just checking that these all line up as well. Um, sometimes if you're going for a certain measurement, your ruler and your board might not match up. Um, there are some uh, rulers that are less um, well, that are not as good of quality, so they don't have the right inches. But these line up, so I'm going to trust that they're pretty, um, that they're pretty, pretty right. Um, so now, you there's several ways you can do this. You can get a handle to hold down real, really firmly on your, on your ruler. There's also um, something called a tripod, tripod-like stance here. I'm going to put two fingers here, and then I'm going to have my other fingers like that, so that nothing's really moving. You can see I'm kind of trying to move, but it's not sliding around. Then I'm going to take one, the safety off. So when you're not using it, make sure you have the safety on because it's dangerous. I'm going to take the safety off. This is a nice ergonomic one. So all I have to do is go like that, and I'm just going to cut. Now sometimes, when you're going through a lot of layers, you might have to just give it one more go, or go get your, your blade sharpened. This one's a little bit not sharp. So now, you can see I have got a really nice straight edge here. We've cut that all off. So now let's say that we were going to need to cut a piece that measured um, Let's just say that we want a piece that measures nine inches. So I'm gonna line up, now I have two places that I can that I will line up my fabric. I'm gonna line it up on that same top line that I've been using, because that's the line that I've already said was straight. And I'm gonna line it up here along the edge. So now I have two straight edges, and we're gonna put the third in right now. So if I wanted to make it nine inches, I can't um, count and talk at the same time. And you'll see, if you've watched any of my other videos, that I often count three or four times just because, and the, sorry, it looks crooked on here. There's a warp in the camera um, lens. I need a better lens. So it looks crooked, but you can see I am lined up on the line <laughs> on the whole way. It just looks like the lines aren't straight. So nine, I'm gonna count again. Nine, okay. I, and then again, you can see I'm putting my, my tripod stance, and you could see when I cut, nothing really moved. Um, and I'm, I've lined up all the lines on my ruler with the lines on my mat. I have the safety on. I'm gonna take the safety off, and I'm just going to cut. And I'm just gonna, there's sometimes, there we go, one little straggler. So now, now we have, a nine inch piece by the width of fabric piece. So we'll open it up and you can see we've got this piece, one long straight piece that's nine inches by 44 inches. So now you can cut this into pieces the size that you need. So, But those are the basics of how you'll do what you need to do. Um, you will use the mat to give yourself a straight line. However, whichever line that happens to be, you can square that line up, that edge up later. Um, cut your fabric and then, you know, line up your ruler, use your tripod grip, or you can use a handle. You can also just put your hand very firmly down, but this puts a lot more of my hand closer and your instinct is to creep out. So if you're using your tripod, you're not anywhere near, when you're cutting, you're not anywhere near your hand here. You guys, I've seen some seriously gnarly um, cuts from the rotary cutter. So if you're over here trying to cut and you miss or you get off, it's not a good, not a good look. So the tripod stance, hand stance right here like this is very helpful. It keeps everything firm when you're cutting. There's no wiggling or moving around. You know, I, I'm trying to move it and it's just, it stays pretty well in place. So those are your steps. That's how you use your rotary cutter. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Go ahead and like, subscribe, um, give this video to all your friends who are starting out or need some help rotary cutting. Um, and you'll be all set.